closer to home, Detroit theater lovers are big winners as a new stunning production comes to the Michigan Opera Theater. The show takes the magic of puppets to a whole new level. You may recall Broadway's Lion King opened the door. Well, now we have these gigantic out of this world puppets. So how do they work? Paula Tutman has an exclusive look at how the magic happens. This is a little puppet I've been playing with all morning long, but you've got to see this. And we actually have the creator who's watching this just like we are as this tenor is learning how to move in this costume. Places, please. Whenever you're ready, Maestro, thank you. Yeah. Curtain. It is the best magical show in town. The classic grim fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel, being performed as an opera at Detroit Opera House. All right, whenever you're ready. But the real magic is beneath the skirt of the Wicked Witch. She is a beast, and we spent an entire week just learning how to move and make it look as natural as possible. And I actually reach my hand arm down into her arm, and there's a trigger that I grab, and then I can turn her hand this way and that way. And the real magicians, the puppeteers, with new innovative puppetry that's been seen only three other times in the country, but this part has never been seen before now. So he's everything above the waist, and then below the waist are these three, this dream team working together to make, Joel makes her go up and down. Lute makes her move actually left and right and forward and back and Dorothy's making the haunches move. And it's all in coordination with the way that Matt moves above the waist. The infrastructure, a teamwork that brings giant, larger than life, sometimes 15 foot puppets to life. So what was I thinking? I just thought I wanted to see a huge witch. <laughs> Puppet wizard Basil Twist, with the help of the Jim Henson studio of the Muppets, has created something new and big, literally. I'm the creator, yes. <laughs> this ain't Kermit or Elmo. There's been puppetry in opera before, but you generally don't have, you'll have the singer separate from the puppet, and he is completely <laughs> in this puppet and making it happen. Go! Some puppets take two people who will melt into the scenery and make you believe what you're seeing is real. The cat is interested. He's got a bunch of different sort of wants and needs throughout the scene. Uh, he's focused a lot on how to get milk. The Wicked Witch takes four people to bring her to life. I think the audience will be blown away at how spectacular this looks and how fantastical it looks. And as you can imagine, everything, everything is larger than life. Karen, did you see those guys underneath the skirt of that puppet? Can you imagine the sheer core strength it takes to move that witch around the stage? The show opens April 6th. My gosh, it is going to be something to see. That is such a cool story, Impala. And obviously, he's getting yeah. behind the scenes there and showing how they all interact. And she had the headlamp. It's going to be... Really, really cool to see in person. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're, you know, you're, you're welcome. Here's the thing. We're seeing something new here. Yeah. It's definitely new, and, and it's, a, it's a great way to, sh to blend both, which is really cool with the opera and the puppets. A great concept. Thank you, Paula. Yeah.